Hello, my lovely lock minions, and those of you that are new to my channel. My name is Mbon. I'm a teacher, dancer, and hair guru for locks. For those of you that are new to my channel, you know I'm all about challenges. So join me for this challenge. I am challenging myself to achieve healthy locks in three months. So if you're interested, keep on watching. And please don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell duh and come back to this channel locks for you to love keep watching hey my beautiful lock minions are you interested in achieving healthy luscious locks because i know i am and during this journey, it's been very thought provoking and a journey full of lessons where I had to figure out my hair. And I'm still in the process of learning that. What things I can use, what things I can't use, and to find the right remedy and the right things that work well with me. So if you're interested in this journey, keep watching. Because you know we all have a question on how to better ourselves, whether it be your hair, your mental, your physical, whatever it is. And as of now, it's my hair. So if you're interested, I'm interested. So let's start digging. And we are going to dive in to this channel and get into the nitty gritty of how to create an atmosphere for our locks to flourish and be healthy. Let's be real. Maintaining healthy locks can be a real struggle, especially if you don't know your hair type, you don't know what products to use, you're not sure of just your physical health as well. And it's not easy. It's not just as easy as just putting water on your hair and calling it a day. Like you really got to know your hair and what makes your hair thrive. From dealing with dryness and combating breakage, we know that this journey is not easy. But do not fear. Dun, 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 dun. Locks for you to love is here. And as I share some tips and advice for you to take care of your locks, what works for me might not work for you. And again, it's all about trial and error and getting to know your own hair. So if some of these tips help, use them. And some of them don't, stop using them. But you work, no. But use what's best for you in the process. So I hope that as I'm sharing the tips and advice that you can use them with a grain of salt and apply it to your everyday routines. So remember, a clean scalp is a happy scalp. And I can vouch for that. Being that my hair and my scalp, especially my skin, does not like a lot of things on it, especially if it's not natural. But don't let the natural fool you because even if it's natural, there's some things that my scalp does not like. First tip of the day. Let's talk about the importance of washing your hair. It's very important to have a clean scalp and to make sure your hair is not full of products for a, a long duration of time. Using sulfate free shampoo could help with cleaning your hair for we out and your scalp. But again, you also have to use what works best for your skin and what works best for your hair. And again, trial and error is very important. For me, I use Dr. Gruner's peppermint uh, shampoo. It cleans my scalp really well and it cleans my hair really well. And that works well for me. So if you have any um, products, shampoo products that you like, or you wanna share below for other people to try that may be looking for a proper shampoo to use to clean their hair and their scalp correctly, 
share below. But that's what works best for me. Okay, so next up, tip number two, hair porosity. In order for you to understand how to moisturize your hair, I would recommend you learn what your hair porosity is because that will determine what you need to do to moisturize your locks, okay? So finding a moisturizing routine is very important towards healthy locks. And once you discover what that is for you, your locks will thrive in the midst of the unknown. Hydrated locks are healthy locks. Finding a great liquid to moisturize your hair with, a leave-in conditioner to fill in the moisture, and a light oil to make sure that thing does not go nowhere. And that's the goal. But again, let me stress that you need to know your hair porosity. There's three types of hair porosity. I, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's high hair porosity, in the middle hair porosity, and low hair porosity. High hair porosity means the water is absorbed by your hair, but it doesn't stay. As quickly as you spray that water in there, it's gone. Um, Medium hair porosity is like once the water hits your hair, it stays in there and it's like a great balance. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right. Low hair porosity, the water sits on top of the hair. It doesn't even penetrate in the hair follicles. So you have a harder time getting that moist moisturization into the lock. And those are the three levels. Once you figure out which one you are, you can progress accordingly and know that. Now, if you want more information on hair porosity, number one, you can look it up. Number two, you can visit my channel because I have a video that talks about hair porosity and educate yourself and figure out what works best for your hair. So for my journey, I use a aloe vera juice, aloe vera gel, rose water, and mix it up in, a, in my little spray bottle, and I use that to moisturize my hair. To keep the moisture, I use a leave-in conditioner. Some people are pro leave-in conditioners that are creamy, some are not. I use like a cream leave-in conditioner for my locks. That's just what works best for me. You don't have to like it. You do what works best for you. And I use a brand, I think it's called um, Thank God It's Natural. And that works really well with my hair and I love it. Um, next, what I use to fill it, I use, um, it's called Camille Rose Hydrate Honey. I use that to fill it and maybe a light oil, which is coconut oil. Um, once a week, I stay, I try to stay away from oils because my scalp does not like oils on it. So anything that my hair carries, most of the time that's going to touch my scalp. So I have to be very mindful of it. And if you are interested to why I don't use a lot of oils on my hair or my scalp, check out my video, why I stopped using oils on my scalp. Tip number three. Protective hairstyles. Regardless if it's in a bun, a twist, braids, a updo, protecting your hair and giving your hair a break is very important and it promotes growth. Not only does it promote growth, it also alleviates damage that you may cause when you're always in your hair. Um, my go-to style is this, literally. Uh, most of the time, I like to wear hats on top of my hair, especially if I have new growth, um, scarves, head scarves. If I do wear my hair up in a ponytail or a bun, it's because I'm working out or I'm doing some kind of activity that requires my hair to be put up. But I'd rather not deal with all that tension and so that's what I do. 
again, you need to find what works best for you, whatever works best for you and helps you stay out of your hair and stop you from manipulating your, your hair so much, do it. Find a hairstyle, a updo, a braid, a twist out or a twist. Um, it's cute. So do what makes you feel good, but also educate yourself on what is good for your hair. Now, here's the golden nugget. The lock method. Liquid, oil, cream. Again, whatever works best for your hair, it may not be all three of those ingredients, but I know moisturization is very important and I know a oil could be important depending on your hair type and a cream distillate could be important depending on your hair type, but it works for me. So again, the lock method, liquid, oils, and cream. First, you can start by applying a water-based leave-in conditioner. That's like a two-in-one. You need the liquid and you need the leave-in to fill in the moisturization. Um, for me, I have it separate. I use liquid, which is aloe vera juice. Um, with the aloe vera juice, I put rose water in it. And I put some uh, aloe vera gel on my hair. That is my liquid moisturization. My leave-in, I use, thank God, it's natural conditioner. That works for me, whatever works for you. Again, if you do use a, a liquid-based leave-in conditioner, then you don't have to really worry about putting the cream on there. That's what I use. Then I seal it once a week, not every time, with a light oil. My oil of choice is um, coconut oil. Um, coconut oil that said I'm living in America. Then you can use a cream of your choice to fill everything in your hair and you're good to go. Your method might be different than the instructions or advice that I've given you and that is okay. But if you have some better tips and advice that you would like to share to the community and share with me, leave your comments below because I would like to know what you do for your hair. This technique will keep your locks hydrated and the key is keeping your hair hydrated to prevent damage, to prevent breakage, and to retain length. So in summary, achieving healthy locks in three months is a very doable. The only thing you have to worry about is yourself. You need to make sure you're consistent and you have a routine that you do daily. Consistency will produce the results that you are looking for. And the ultimate goal is to produce healthy locks. Duh. Remember, wash your hair as much as is needed. Moisturize your hair on a daily basis. Rock protective hairstyles to prevent damage and you in your hair. Then fill it with a light oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, castor oil, black castor oil, depending on the seasons and what works for your hair. And don't forget, consistency is the key. If you found this video useful and helpful, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come back to my channel, Locks For You To Love. If you have any advice, any tips, or any comments, share them below. Duh. Sharing is caring.